Hello everyone. Now we will discuss about the JSON path class for validation. So inside our test class, I'm going to create the copy of this method. And let me call it as test content JSON path. So this time I'm going to expect the content in JSON format. So first of all, let me print the content at the console. So this is the content. As you can see here for this JSON object, there is no label. So there will be change in the path for the attributes or fields. So first of all, here I will create the object of JSON path. json equal to new json path and again i'm going to use the constructor which is taking string objects and argument the method which are present in the xml path are also present inside the json path class so i'm going to use the same set of method so instead of xml object this will be the json object now, as I told you, there is no label available, uh, available for this JSON object. So we need to modify the path to the field. So this will be the brand name. This will be the laptop name. And this will be features.feature. So let me put a debug point over here and run the script in a debug mode. So if I inspect this method, I will get 75 as the value. So verify the ID, then brand name, then laptop name, and check whether the list contain this particular value. So in this manner, you can use the JSON path class for fetching the specific value from the JSON response as well as for a validation purpose.